Let me teach you how to get La Marica 1.21.8 for Minecraft super easy and super quick. Let's go. Now, the first step to get La Marica is to click the second link in the description. That'll put you in this page in here, which is a quick article on what I'm about to do in case I speak too fast in this video. But we also have the links that we need in this article. As you can see, the first thing we're going to download is La Marica. If you go down to step one, you'll see La Marica in here and go ahead and press on Mod Rain. That'll redirect you to this page where we're going to select game version 1.21.8 and then we're gonna go ahead and hit download for Lightmatica. Now, unfortunately, there's more files that we need to download, so you're not done yet. But once you do download this file, the Lightmatica file, I want you to go ahead and place it in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the download folder of your computer. Now, for the next step, you come back to that second link in the description, scroll a little bit down, and then you'll find Malilip. In here, you're going to select Malilip, click Mod Rain. Malilip, it's a mod library that is required by Lightmatica, and without Malilip, you won't be able to use Lightmatica at all. Now, once you click on Malilip, it'll place you over here, select game version 1.21.8, and just like we did earlier go ahead and hit download for the most recent file and just like we did earlier as well we're gonna place malilip fabric on our desktop and notice that i said fabric that's because lightmatica it's a fabric mod base meaning that you're going to need fabric as a mod loader in your game if all of this is too confusing don't worry i'm gonna explain all of that in a second but if you already know what i'm talking about and you perhaps already have fabric all you have to do now guys is add malilip as well as lightmatica together into your fabric mods folder as long as you have the fabric api then you're good you're ready to use lightmatica however if you have no idea what i'm talking about then let's go ahead and install fabric fabric as a mod loader click on the third link in the description which is going to place you in this page again a quick article in case this video is too fast for you but once you're over here all you have to do is go down to step one press on fabric now redirect you over here where we're going to hit download universal jar and the download for the fabric installer will begin right away and just like we have done with everything else in this video we're going to place this file in our desktop now one more file and we're done i swear we also need to download the fabric api if you ever install like marica or perhaps any other fabric mod you know that most of the time you will need fabric api so you find that link down below in the description it's called fabric api it's probably the fourth link by now i don't even know but once you're over here select 1.21.8 and then go ahead and download the fabric api file and place it in your desktop just like we've done with every other file now we are finally ready to begin i swear the first thing we have to do is make sure that we have closed our minecraft game as well as the minecraft launcher but only after you have played minecraft 1.21.8 at least once on your computer once you've done that just go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and it should open just like this in here give it a couple seconds just like that and if it doesn't open like that don't worry i'm gonna teach you how to fix that in just a second but once it does open which it will open for most of you select 1.21.8 as your minecraft version and then go ahead and hit install and if it didn't open don't worry don't be scared that's because you probably don't have java 21 java 21 is a requirement when installing mods for minecraft and fabric is no exception light marica is no exception so i'm gonna leave you that article as well in the description all the links you will need will be in the description this goes over how to install java 21 but it's actually pretty simple it's like two steps and you have java 21 then you'll be able to open the fabric installer now once the fabric installer has finished installing Installing. go ahead and press ok right here close the installer and you could even delete that fabric installer from your desktop you won't need that anymore and we want to clean the desktop up because we already have a lot of files in there now the next step is to add these mods into the game for that go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and when the minecraft launcher opens if we install fabric properly we should see it selected here automatically however we're not going to hit play just yet because we do need to add those mods into the game for that you're going to head over to installations in here make sure you do select modded because without modded you actually won't see fabric now once fabric shows up and if it doesn't show up you could press new installation and then look for it under instances but most of you will have it in here once it shows up hover over it and press where it says open installations folder that is going to open this folder which don't let it scare you i know it has a lot of files but we are looking for one folder called mods m o d s and my mods folder is right here but if you don't have a mods folder and i'm actually going to delete mine if you don't have a mods folder all you have to do is create a new one press on new press folder and then just name it mods m o d s and then go ahead and open that mods folder app now you should have a mods folder and in here it's pretty intuitive we're going to add our mods that we downloaded earlier the fabric api malilip as well as lightmatica make sure you add these three mods into here and if you're going to add any other mod just make sure they are compatible with fabric as well as minecraft 1.21.8 and of course lightmatica now, once you have your mods in here, you could close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and now we're ready to start using Lightmatica. Hit play right next to Fabric. You might get a prompt if this is the first time you're launching it. Read through the prompt, and if you agree, hit play one more time. Now, while Minecraft does open, guys, if you want to support the channel, use the first link in the description to create your own server. With Apex Hosting, not only would you get a great deal, you actually get 25% off, but you will have a server that has support for over 200. It's actually over 300 mod packs, and I think they should update it in here. They support over 300 mod packs. They have locations all around the world, and just just a great service, and you'll be super 
supporting the channel, which is the most important part as well. So use that first link in the description, get 25% off with Apex Hosting for a limited time deal. And now let's get back into the tutorial. As you can see, Minecraft has just loaded in. It's time to test out Lightmatica. Let's go ahead and launch a single player world in here, whatever world I already have created in here. And if Lightmatica is working, and I know it is because my game didn't crash, which is a great sign. And as you can see, we have X-Ray right here. I just made a video on how to get X-Ray in Minecraft 1.21.8. So you could go ahead and watch that video next after you finish this one. Now I went ahead and fixed the game. And like I was saying earlier, if Lightmatica is working, we should be able to open it by pressing M. And as you can see, we could access the Lightmatica menu. We could access the schematic manager and do everything with Lightmatica. I'm not an expert using Lightmatica. I just know how to install it. And that's what I taught you in this video. But there you guys have it. How to get Lightmatica 1.21.8 for Minecraft. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. And before you go, in the description of this video, you will also have a link to the Lightmatica printer mod in case you want to add that function into Lightmatica because I know it's not working by itself. So you do have to add it as a mod. I'll leave it in the description of this video. Shout out to the creator. Thank you for making this mod for the community of Minecraft. And I'll see you guys next time.